He is saying this to a group of followers of Christ. Like you and me. Individuals who've made a decision to follow Christ. And he's given us a very clear instruction. Go and make disciples. Uh, Notice what Jesus doesn't say. Jesus doesn't say, love your neighbor. He doesn't say, serve those who need help. He doesn't say, be kind and compassionate. He doesn't say, go and be humble. He doesn't say, go and be a nice person. Why? Well, because all of that was contained in the instruction Teach them to observe all that I commanded you because Christ taught them to love their neighbor and to serve those in need and to be kind and compassionate and to be humble people, to be respectful and kind and considerate of others. Those are the teachings of Jesus. But the primary instruction is what? Go make disciples. That, that's very important. That's very important to me that we understand that. And here's why. I meet so many Christians Are you ready? I meet so many Christians who say, well, I love my neighbor. I'm a good Christian. I I, I serve, I volunteer, and I help around the community, and I do some things at church. I like to help people who have needs. And, you know, I like to think I'm pretty humble and I, you know, I don't brag and boast and I'm not arrogant about my faith. I kind of keep that quiet, but I, I'm a humble person. There's just one problem. That wasn't the command. The instruction of our savior was go and make disciples. Go and make disciples. So I have a question for all of us. I have a question for me and I have a question for you. You ready? Who are you helping become a disciple of Jesus? Who who are you helping to get to know Jesus a little bit better and to learn from you what it means to be one of his followers? Who are you having influence in their life Oftentimes we make following Jesus about us. I I go to church and I do my thing. I read my Bible. I do my thing. I say my prayers. I do my thing. I I help out now and then I do my thing. Sometimes I put some money in the tray. I, I do my thing. But the question is, who are you discipling? Who's learning the Jesus way of life from you? I think the promise of God's power and presence in your life is as you make disciples. I will be with you always as long as you are baptizing and teaching people how to be followers of Jesus. Now, Jesus, he has a last instruction, a last, last instruction right before he returns to heaven. We read about it in Acts chapter one, verse eight. Jesus says this, you will receive what? Power. Like, I will be with you in a way that's different than me just watching out for you. I'm going to bring a power into your life. You will receive power when the Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses. You're going to start in the town where we live in Jerusalem, and then you're going to move out to the larger region, and and then Samaria, which was a little bit further than Judea, and then you're going to take this message to the ends of the earth. You're going to be a witness. What's a witness do? Tells others about what they know, what they've seen, what they've heard. Can I get a witness? A witness is a Christian who tells others about Jesus. That was one of his instructions. Go and be a witness. Being a witness is the first step. You ready? You ready? Listening? Being a witness is the first step to making disciples. If you want to be occupied around the purposes of Christ, of making disciples, the first step that you're going to take is being a witness to other people who don't know Jesus. 
Ich, ich, 